What's up? Ogre Base here. I'm gonna show you how you can beat Dark Souls Remastered Glitchless in under one hour. Isn't that exciting? Let's get into it. Alright, make your character a hunter. So you can start with the bow. And pick the master key. Easy. You already saved 10 seconds by picking the hunter. Good job. You want to two, if you can, you want to two hand that sword hilt and then grab the key so you can hold block after you open that door and you'll sprint. You get a full speed sprint faster. Same with here, you want to toggle your weapon every time you start sprinting again. You know, sprint faster. Here you want to put the sword hilt on your left hand and then take off the armor, or at least the chest piece. You can leave the gloves and the pants on for a little more resistance, defense, survivability. You can drop that chest piece on that door, and then run through here, take that line I took, and then regen a little bit of stamina so you get enough to grab this shield. Strafe that arrow, and go get your sword. You can equip the sword and the shield when you go through this fog. Run up here, you'll be see the pillar on the left up the stairs, and then turn around. Line up your head. You see these dark bricks. Line it up right on the right side of the dark brick right there. If you're a little worried, you can go a little more right. If you go too far left, you get by, hit by the boulder. But right there, you just run right through that wall as soon as it breaks. Mash, I use the mouse wheel, but mash through that dialogue as fast as you can. Get that Estus and key as soon as possible. Run around that guy like that. Roll onto this rubble pile right here and make a noise. Makes this guy over here start walking out sooner. And then you run to the left and the right and get around like that. Run around these guys, two hand your sword. Do a jumping attack. I, I screwed it up, but do a jumping attack. You'll get like 400, over 400 damage on the, the plunge instead of 327. It'll save a couple hits. But yeah, if you get that 400, I think it's 415, 425 or something, you can do uh, five R1s and an R2. We'll kill him every time. I had to do like eight R1s or something and kill him. One extra hit. You want to quit out as soon as you start opening that door. It saves time. You come up here. You see I, I hold the gesture button and I'm mashing the start button. You can't really see it because this thing is in the way. How to make that go out of the way. There, look at the controller. I'm holding the gesture button and I'm mashing the start button. That does a skip. Normally there'd be like a banner across the screen that says Welcome to Firelink, noob. You can skip that. Save time. Come up here, and we're gonna get the bones. So you just drop down this little ele elevator shaft and turn around. There'll be a chest right in front of you. Open it. Pick it up. Use it. Get these humanities here. I run through the Berg like a badass. Like a real Chad runs through Berg. Run past all these guys. Run past these guys. Hold block. Block this, or it staggers you a bunch. You can strafe these guys, or you can roll them, or you can just get hit, because you don't care. Because you got HP. Survivability. 
buy a reinforced club, cheap weapon, does a bunch of, bunch of damage, staggers enemies easily, has bleed damage, amazing weapon, two hand your sword, come over here, R2, kill both of them, or don't, kill this other guy, two R1s, kill this guy, heal, Go in this building. Run past this guy. Get these bombs. Run past these guys. Open the door. Roll through it. Get the gold pine resin. Jump over this wall. Or not. Go up here, trigger this guy to kick that barrel. Go back down and hold your shield up so you don't get hit. Then run past him. Go up the stairs. Two hand your sword. Two R2s on this barrel. Kill that lizard. Drop down. Here and here. Doing rolls. Open this door. Turn left and jump and then roll. Do it again. Go down here. Use one humanity. Drop down. Roll down. Roll again. You get past Havel. Easy. Go through here. Get your stamina low. Equip the reinforced club. Go around this rock and around these plants. Drop down here. Roll. Pick up this item as far to the left as you can. This is the grass crust shield. Amazing shield. Pick it up far to the left. We want to try to manip this black knight to fall off. Quit out. When you load back in, you want to run up on the right side and around the black knight to the right. He usually doesn't do this attack. He usually just falls right off because he does another attack that makes him fall off. But just tank it in the face like a real Chad. And then block this one. And then parry this one. And then he'll fall off. It works every time. Get a real Black Knight halberd. Or just look in the description. I'll, I'll share a link to a program that will give you a Black Knight halberd. You can use for practice if you don't get one from him. But get a real Black Knight Halberd if you want to submit a run. Heal up, because you really got hit hard in the face there. Come up here. You can use a resin to kill this guy slightly faster, but you can also do this R1, R2, and then another R2. I don't know, maybe it's faster to do that, because you don't have to stand there using a resin. You can take a chance, roll the dice here and try to kill this tree. Maybe he drops some moss. You don't need it, but maybe you want it. It can help you fight Quellag while not being poisoned. He didn't drop it. You don't need it. But you can still kill him, just to prove you're stronger than him. Run around this guy, because he's an idiot and he's not even shooting the right way. Go up here. Don't even talk to Andre. You already got a reinforced club. You don't need to talk to him. Light the bonfire and level up strength. Strength is the best stat.
Run past these goons. Run past this dummy. Bait this guy down the steps. Circle around and run around him to the right. Use your grass crush shield. That's better. It gives you stamina regen. Stand right there and block those guys and then you can run all the way to the gargoyles. Without taking any damage. Equip your gold pine resins on the ladder. Use the gold pine resin right next to this statue. Trigger the cutscene. Hit this guy with R1s until he's dead. Cut his tail off. Because you can. Walk around the fire and then hit this guy until he dies. Easy. Amazing weapon. Take off your armor because you're getting a little warm in it. Turn the music down because it's a little loud. Go blow your eardrums out by ringing this bell that's right above your head. Good job. Now put the gold pine resin on. And if you if you want to, you you can you can do this strat. I I meant to do the safer strat. Just go down the ladder. But you you can use the gold pine resin and then spam the roll button once, going straight towards the ladder, and then once slightly to the right. Or you could just take the ladder. It's safer. Jump down here. Two hand it. R two. R two. Get behind him. Lock on and mash R1 right behind his back. Backstabs every time. He's dead. You get 2,000 souls and two twin humanities. Bone out. Level up, 22 strength, 18 dex. Go back up the steps. Run past these guys again. Idiots. Turn right here. Run past this guy. Get this Firekeeper soul. Going down. Take the elevator. Drop all the junk you don't need. All the armor and all the weapons, except for the Black Knight Halberd, the short bow, and the Grass Crush Shield. Drop off as soon as you can on the right side. And roll. Come down here. Equip the Black Knight Halberd. Kill this idiot. By the Lords. Get two free twin humanities. Go through this little window. Turn left. Grab six fire bombs. Go through here and turn right. Go towards the fire and turn slight right and down the steps. Talk to the lady behind the bars and upgrade your Estus flask to plus one and kick this idiot off. Wait till you start to get souls and quit out. Get the five humanities and the ring of favor and protection. Best ring in the game. Jump on the elevator. Equip the ring. Heal to full health. Wait until the elevator button pops up and then step on it 
and send him back up and get off the elevator, jump over that wall, go up these steps and open this door, cross this bridge, go in this cave. Run past this guy on the left side. If he does an attack that's a fast attack on a diagonal slash, just curve to the right a little bit as you go around him. He will never hit you. Learn to dodge all of their attacks and dodge the other guy's attacks. Dodge this guy's attacks if you need to as well. Come over here. Look at this board. Go on the right side of it. Walk down. Go on the right side of this protruding piece of wood. Go down, turn left, and run into this corner right here. Take a bunch of damage, but you don't care. This is fast. Go around this, and then drop down here. And then through here. Onto here, and heal the full. Wait till it's right about here, and then you can drop off all the way down to the bottom of Blight Town. Roll through here, past this idiot. And then turn left. Don't even aggro those guys. They're idiots. Not even worth your time. Run into this cave. <clears throat> Heal up so you can face tank a hit from Koilag. Go in the fog and equip the Black Knight Halberd and take off the shield two-handed stand in front of her take a step back and R1 roll out of the way because you missed and there's tacker on the side try it again stagger her because you hit her body try to do that as much as you can if you mess up go to the side of her like this and get attacks in face tank go to the side and get attacks in Get in front of her and go for it. Or heal, probably, if you can. But just kill her. Good job. Look at your health. Make sure the poison won't kill you before you can ring the bell and bone out. Heal if you need to. Ring the bell. Equip the halberd if you took it off and the shield. And then bone out. Level up. Endurance. Go to Andre. Use the soul of Quelag. Upgrade the halberd three times. Buy the weapon smith box. Two hand the halberd. Stand stand right right here so you're like facing straight. It's kind of precise, but you make sure you're stuck right here. You're not like when you walk forward, you don't like go past him. R2. <laughs> make sure Andre doesn't like start turning immediately because like, I mean, he can kill you really quick. If he stands there and just kind of like is facing this way and doesn't turn at all, then just R R1 and kill him. Otherwise, you kind of like have to roll away from him and then kill him. Run around this idiot. Run past these trees. They can't hit you. Look at them. Not even close. Oh no, not even close.
go to this door. Activate it and quit out. Jump right at this edge right here. Look at this tree. Go to the left of it. Go through the gap through here. Go over here. Regen stamina. Try to get up on this railing so you can drop down to the chest. But if you mess up, just go around. And if you do go around, when you open the chest, quit out. So these assholes don't block you. Get the stone armor. I angle this like at a 45. Don't just go straight up it or it won't let you get up on the pile. So kind of like turn towards the wall a little bit and you can just run up on this pile of rubble and go straight from there. Look at this tree with this white on the bottom of it. Go to the left of that. Look at this big tree and the skinny tree and go in between those. Do a little jump and bounce off the edge here. Open this door and quit out as soon as you start to. Equip the halberd. Don't toggle the halberd for speed. It's it's slow actually. So that's why I unequip it and toggle. Come over here, jump at this flower, trigger the cutscene, skip it, turn around, pick up the ring, fight Sif. Try to get under him. Roll. Attack. 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 Get under him. Stupid dog. Get under him. Roll. Rolling attack. R1. Get under him. R1. Get under him. R1. Use the soul of Sif as soon as you get it. Bone out. Level up vitality to max. Full stamina at the start of sense run through this room without having the regen. Come over here, and this, this is a, like a consistent strat. You, you can try to fast cycle it, but this is really like the an easy way to get through sense consistent. Wait, wait right here. Run into the front of that blade as it goes across. Run across this whole bridge without regening stamina. Go up here, wait for this blade to cross in front of you. Go on the left side, and then when the snake throws lightning, strafe to the right. You, you can you can stop right here, and that really doesn't save that much time. Or you could tuck yourself in this corner, and then run to the fog. Run around that table. Run up here. Look at these pillars on the left. Jump right there, about halfway up, past the that in between that first and second one. And quit out. Then run through here. Using all your stamina. Keep running. Made it all the way across. Punch this guy.
running in the front of that one and then across this bridge to the fog. Grab this soul. In case you mess something up, you, you, you can have a backup. If you forget to upgrade your weapon, because you leveled up all your... Spend all your souls leveling up. Take this bonfire, so you don't have to run through sins again. Loop back around. Go to Iron Golem. Use your shield if you need to. Punch this idiot out of the way. Go in the fog and equip the halberd. Try not to mess this strat up. Use these. This pile of rubble to block his projectile. And then switch sides and run towards that leg right there. When you start going down these stairs, start regening your stamina. And start walking in between them. Hit him right in the weak spot and spam R1 to do a slash attack on his ankle. Let's keep spamming R1 to do a diagonal attack on the back of his foot. Try not to miss like I did. If you do mess up, you can quit out and try again. Try it again. Use this pile of block. Run towards this foot. Regen stamina. Look up. Aim right in the middle. R1 follow up. Third follow up. Staggers him. Hit him in the toe. If you miss hitting his toe, then spam R1 again. The follow up will, will kill him. Use your shield to block that fire and then run through it. Take this bonfire, so you don't have to run back from Sens again. Use the core of Iron Golem. Level up 19 Endurance and 27 Strength. Go to this lady, do an R2, and try to like bounce off the wall with R2 as well. If you don't, it, it's fine, but it, it's actually better to hit the wall at the same time. And then hit do spam R1 after that and kill her. Very well. But how? It... Get a firekeeper soul. Destroys the bonfire, but makes you stronger. You don't need that bonfire anymore. You can put on that. Covenant of Torius Ring. Wait till you see this opening here and jump off over the railing. Roll off. Go over here. Drop down right here. Drop down right there. Don't take any extra damage. Jump as soon as you get to this. That white line right there this white line turn to the right and jump go up the ladder equip the the halberd and the bow you have enough endurance you can equip them both at the same time and still be fast run over here look at this guy see what he does he did a baby step he might 
be able to backstab you. If he starts throwing daggers and doesn't do a baby step, you can run past him. If he gets in your way, well, you can't run past him because he's in your way. He throws one dagger, but that's like a trick. He's actually trying to backstab you, so don't fall for it. Stop right here. Let him come to you. If he gets right in front of you on this line in front of you, you kill him with the halberd. Idiot. Look at this guy. Does he get in your way? No. Run past him. Jump right here. Roll. Go in the fog. Roll out of the fog. Push this lever. Skip the cutscene. Turn. Go around here. Run past this gargoyle. Run up these big steps. Run to the right of this guy. Roll if he does this the slash. Line this up. Get your halberd ready. Line it up like this, but a slight angle to the right. So you get over the railing. Plunge attack. Heal. Make sure there's no one gonna... a gargoyle or one of those giants isn't gonna hit you in the back. Run down here. Run past this guy. Roll if you need to. Turn the camera or just run up and zigzag and pray. Or try to listen if you hear them growl. They, sometimes they throw spears. They didn't do anything because they're idiots. Go up here. Listen for this guy on the left to shoot an arrow and then go up on this top ledge here. Stop before you get up on there. When he shoots, you go up. Roll. Roll. Get in his face. Hit him. Hit him again. He's dead. Drop down here. Go through here. Open this door. Rest here so you don't have to run back again. If you have enough souls, you can level up more health. Lots of health for ONS. Go up these stairs. Look to your left. When you see this, you need to jump. Jump about here, where I am right now. Don't jump late, or you'll hit the railing. And you won't get over it. Regen stamina. Go down these stairs. Turn. Go down these stairs. Turn. Bait that idiot to go around that pillar and you go the other way. Go up these stairs. Jump. Quit out. Th there's like... Th Two schools of, well, three schools of thought, but we've already chosen two of them, the qu quit outs. So we quit out, we want to be on the right side. And uh, best RNG is Ornstein doing a charge attack at the very beginning. Uh, if you don't see it, which he, he's not doing, he's just jogging towards me, that's like also not bad, but it's not the best. You can quit out until you get the charge, and then he'll like charge towards you, and you just run to the right, and he'll never hit you. And then you can, like, get behind him and then just spam R1 until he's dead, basically. Um, or you could just fight him. I just I just quit out once, and if I get that RNG, it's good. But if not, I just fight him. Two hits to stagger Ornstein. Smo's doing a charge, so I don't go for a third. I miss. Doesn't matter. I roll. I stagger him. One, two, stagger, three... Kill. Five hits until the kill. Run to the opposite of the arena after you kill 
Ornstein. Use the pillars to block. Running attack. Another running attack. Roll. Staggers. Three hits to stagger. One. Two. Roll. Three. Four. Use your shield to block. I, I would not have been able to run away from this because I was attacking him as he jumped up, so I used my shield to block. Didn't take that much damage. Get on the elevator. Get your bow ready. Two hand it before you open the door so you can shoot it immediately. Quit out. Shoot her. Roll forward. Use the soul of Smo. Get the Lord Vessel. Go to the bonfire. Level up more health. Warp to Fire Link. Go over here. Don't talk to this idiot. Jump down and do a plunge attack. Skip the cutscene. Place the Lord Vessel. Skip the cutscene. Warp to Anerlando. You can warp to the bonfire, but you can't rest at it. That's all we needed it for, was to come back here. go over here run for a really long time keep running you're doing great keep running okay run run on the left side here run 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 when you get to this pillar start jogging when you get to this pillar he's gonna charge forward and you're gonna roll staying on the left side jogging roll right through him hitless easy run over here run past this boar to the far wall hug this wall and then run around him like that go over here quit out You could quit out sooner than that. I didn't really need to run that far. But you're safe there to quit out. They can't they can't hit you when you're in there. Shoot this boar in the ass. Quip the halberd. Let him come to you. Go back in there. Let him do an attack. And kill him. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. He's dead. Go get this bonfire so you don't have to run forever to come back here again. Easy. Go up the elevator. Take the halberd off. Run this line on the right side. Go straight. And then when this guy gets close to you, you go around him to the left. And then you go up the stairs on the left side, and you go around the archer on the left side. Go around the left, up the stairs on the left, around on the left. Run towards this guy and run around him on the left. Unless he does something weird, then just do whatever. But yeah, run around him, and then go around here. You're safe. Get stamina back. Run around here and up these stairs. In between these guys. Go up the stairs on the left. Go around this guy on the left side. You, you can't squeeze on the right side. So go around him on the left. Have your bow ready. Go up here. Look at my controller. I'm going to show you that 
you can use the bow. We're going to do a duke skip. Okay, so you can use the bow to aim, line this up, or you can also center your character with the right stick. So I pulled the lever, and my character is facing forward. My camera is facing this way, but my character is facing forward. Right stick will face the camera where your character is facing, and you can use that to line up Duke Skip after you pull the lever. In case you mess it up the first time, you can always fix it real quick. See how it lines it up? I press the button. Also, you can line it up right here, right side of the circle, in line with this, right there. Go all the way up, unzoom the bow, pull the lever, zoom back in. Roll right, roll forward, roll backwards. Turn your camera to the right. Line the soul counter up with this black line. You can also use this line and your your arrow counter thing on, on the corner here with this orange, brown line. You'll see a wall for a while, then it'll open up and you'll see this, this uh, floor right here. And then you'll see this railing. You want to roll when your head is like lined up like with the railing or just below it. So like right here, you want to roll right there. You'll land and then you roll left. And then you can run past this guy. If he, if he blocks you, just punch him out of the way. Then you go over here, turn left, get stamina back, and run. Get stamina back, and go down this ladder. Slide down. Wee. Your hands are on fire now. Pull this lever. Use this wall to protect yourself on the rare chance that one one of the guys can shoot you with arrows. It usually doesn't happen, but he can. Rest here so you don't have to do Duke skip again. And go back. Go to this lever over here. <clears throat> Pull it and equip your halberd. Go down this ramp and through the fog. Roll off it's slightly to the left. Run like towards this blue guy, and when he starts coming around him, you go around him to the left. Go towards this tree and to the right of it, right next to it, and you'll go like under these branches. There's some weird collision around that tree, so you have to be kind of close to it. Or you can just go super wide of it, but this is like the best pathing. Go down here. You, you can slide down that and regen stamina. Go around this guy to the right, or left, it really doesn't matter. But just run around him. Come over here. Drop down right here. Make sure you have enough health to live before you drop. Come over here. You can heal up right here. Stay on the left side here. When this guy starts coming towards you and doesn't attack, go around him to the right. Roll if you want, but you shouldn't have to. Drop down here, turn around. Running attack, and lock on as soon as you start doing the running attack. Look, look for three health bar kills. You need to kill all three of them. If you don't kill all three, uh, and it gets away, quit out, and then kill it It'll, when it spawns back, when you spawn back in. Otherwise, you get all three. Mash this button so that that gazillion materials gets out of your face, because it's really annoying. Oh, went too far. Shit. Ignore this. We went too far. We're gonna watch this again. Yeah. Running attack, lock on. Mash the button to get rid of that stuff. Go over this orange mesh that you look up and look for this white spot and go on the right side of it. Straight line. Come over here. <clears throat> Turn left. You want to go to the left of this 
clam over here. I'll go around to the left side. You'll see the crystal on, laying on the ground here. You kind of want to follow that in a line as you go around him. And you want to jog. Don't sprint around him. He'll just turn around, rotating clockwise or to his right. And uh, you just want to kind of like stay to the behind him or to the side of him. Don't let him actually face you. When you get to about here, start sprinting again. And go to the right of this one here. In between these two guys. They do an attack, and they always miss. And then run over here and turn a little bit to the left. When you get right about here, jump. You skip the cutscene, and then you can... You can shoot the crystal right away. Some people like to press S on their keyboard and shoot it. I like to roll forward and get a little closer to Seath, and then shoot it. And then run over to him, regen your stamina, and then you can do five attacks. If there, if you think you got a, a, a clam in here, you can quit out after you shoot the crystal. And then just spam the button when you stand up to go through the fog, and then you won't have any clams in the fight. But if you see the attack they did, they, that's a really slow attack, and they will have a long recovery, and then it, those ones actually block the other ones from chasing you. But uh, it's something you kind of have to just learn. But yeah, five attacks. You should have enough time if you regen your stamina up when you get to them. One, two, three, four, five. Look at Seath and learn what attacks he's doing, or not, and just go move to the right. It doesn't matter. Just move to the right and do three attacks. He'll either do like the the arch one and it'll go behind you. He'll do the one that's in front of him. You move to the right so it won't hit you. He might do like a melee attack, uh, but you'll see his hand. If he does the melee attack, just run into the corner of him right here. Or if he's doing an AoE, you have to run away and that just kind of sucks. But yeah, just you're, you're safest and go over here and do three attacks. Look at what he's doing. That's the melee attack. You could see his arm. He's going to do a melee attack, so I'm going to run over here. He missed. Idiot. Then I'm going to go for... Should have been three more attacks, but you need to hit the belly. This crystal belly takes more damage than, like, his tentacles. So one of them hit the tentacles, and I have to do an extra attack here. That should have killed him, but it doesn't matter. I leveled up enough health. That's not even scary. When his chest hits the ground, you bone out. You get the victory achieve sign, you get the soul seath. That's all you need. Now you want to level up endurance. And you also want to upgrade the halberd. That's why we grab the soul, in case we forget to upgrade halberd. And we somehow level, spend all our souls on endurance. We have that soul. But you can do it here. You want to rest at Firelink anyway to get your... Estus up to 10 back, and it, it saves a warp when you want to go to Nido. Come over here, upgrade your Estus to plus 2. Jump on the elevator. Make sure you got the ring equipped. Put the halberd on. Put black fire bombs on go through your menu like you have something important to do but you don't wait for the button to pop up stand on it push it down get off the elevator and jump to the left come over here and line this up and, and just jump somewhere over here it's not super precise Run across this bridge. Turn hard right. Go around here. Carefully across here. Go across this skinny bridge and don't fall off. In between these ghosts. Grab this and quit out. Turn around. Go back across the bridge. Go to the right, away from the ghosts so they don't hit you. Go up these stairs.
Go across this bridge. Get your stamina back. Go through here. Run into this pillar right here. And look at this ghost right here. Don't worry if you get hit by the ghost through the wall. You have plenty of health. You live. This ghost should move out of the way. When you see she does move out of the way, you can run through. Drop down here and roll. Go around here. Roll that ghost if you think it might hit you. Go through here. Get your bow ready. If you got hit, you can run through here and then you can heal up right here. Stop right next to this pillar on the corner here and heal and quit out so the ghosts stop chasing you. Load back in. Switch to your black fire bombs. Look up using the left side of the crosshair to line up with him and aim up as high as you can. Throw a bomb. Just one. Now shoot him with an arrow. Just one. Now look up as high as you can and a little bit to the right. Like just a tiny little bit to the right. Right there. And then throw the rest of your black fire bombs. Make sure they're hitting him. If they all hit him, they'll kill him every time. Go over here. Stay on the right side. Jump when you're right about here. And staying on the right side. Come over here. Go a little bit to the left if, if you want to avoid getting hit. And around like that. Open this door. Push this giant lever. Make sure you have the ring on. Skip this cutscene. Drop down here. Roll. Roll again. Go through here. Make sure you have that fucking ring on. Slowly walk off this left side right here where it kind of protrudes out a little bit. Like this. Turn your camera 90 degrees to the left so you're looking this way. Start spamming roll as you go down. Roll f four times. Drop a upgrade material you don't need and heal. Run towards the king. Okay, the three king strat that you're going to want to do two rolling attacks and three R1s to get it really low health. Uh, I like to do a rolling attack into an R1 because uh, then the R1, like I'm rolling, I'm dodging one of his attacks, and then when I do the the rolling attack, I, I angle uh, to the right. That's oh God, it's complicated, but it's actually not that hard. So, okay, this one I'm just, I'm going to roll. Uh, he didn't do anything. Okay, so I roll here. And then I angle to the right, oh, so I'm I'm pressing attack. Yeah. You can see I'm pressing. Well, I guess you can maybe kind of see that I'm pressing attack. And then I'm also just like holding to the right, so I'm starting the angle to the right. And see how it angles like that. And see the halberd attack starts back here, but also like is like a big swing. But you want it to be on your left side when you hit him. And the reason we do this is because this number now is the same as this number if you do it right. Uh, so you want to do, you don't want to do too much damage to this king and kill him too fast before you don't take a lot of health off of the total bar. Okay, and then, oh, well, he hit me, but whatever, I do an R1. And then I do it again, rolling attack. You see that one actually did 405 this time because I didn't turn. But it's not, it's, this is not like super precise, you'll see. But, and then R1, and now I do one more R1. And I get some really low health. See, look at that health bar. It's just a, a tiny little dot now. And then get your stamina all the way back up and do an R2, R1, R1. If you're good at jump attacks, it's better to do a jump attack R1, R2. But this is just this, this is easier and consistent. So, same thing with this one rolling attack. 
angled away. 360, 360, R1. Do it again. Rolling attack. He zoomed away from me, but I got it. R1. One more R1. Use my shield. R2. R1. R1. This is why I dropped the item too. I forgot to explain how you can find where the kings are. Is this the f yeah, this is the first one. Oh, come on, hurry up and kill him. <clears throat> okay, so I look for the item. Like, there it is. Okay, and then I see the item and I go like 45 degrees to the right of it for about five seconds. So like this, one, two, three, four, five, and there, there he is. Okay, next one. This is the last one. Okay. I need R1 here. One more R1. Tank this, use the shield to block it. R2, R1, R1. This is why we leveled up Endurance, so we can do that. I look for my item, and then when I'm here, I look at it, and then I go like 90 degrees to the left, maybe like 80, 80 degrees to the left, like that. I think I went a little bit too far to the left here, but it doesn't matter. I'm still moving in the right direction, generally. I heal up. I drop another item. I don't drop another item because he spawns and he's right over here. Rolling attack. M missing R1. Second rolling attack. R1. R1. He's low enough health I can go for it here. R2, R1, R1, there, skip the cutscene, get your bone ready but don't use it immediately, wait for this victory achieve to disappear and then use the bone and you get four humanities from four kings. Come over here and you can level up a little bit of health and you want to put the rest of it in strength, so I did two in health and two in strength. From here on out, we're just going to level strength for Gwen. So we can kill him in three parries. Okay. When you run past these skeletons, like, uh... Oh my god. Bop, bop, bop. These guys just kind of go in between them. I come over here, and then these ones, you kind of have to, like, go to the right of this one, and then, or, to, yeah, to the right of the first one, and then left. It's not too hard. Come over here, regen some stamina. Come over here, and then hold your shield up, so you can make this guy do, like, a jump attack most of the time. And then go over here, and then roll off this ledge like this. You see a lot of times I toggle my weapon as I land. It's because I toggle midair and then spam the roll button as I land. Come over here, kill this guy, activate this lever, and quit out. It skips the lever animation. Deagros the skeletons. Sit at this bonfire so you don't have to run back from fire link. Unequip the halberd because it's heavy and it makes it take more fall damage. <clears throat> Use your shield here. Roll if you need to. Same here. Use your shield. Roll if you need to. If you got hit, go up here and heal and the skeletons will fall. Like if you got hit a lot. If you got hit once, you're fine to roll. Drop down. Drop down right here on that corner. Land right here. If if you got hit a little bit, then roll to the right and heal up. Otherwise, if you're like completely full health like me, roll or drop down and then roll straight forward right here. 
and then heal up right here one two jump off here aim for this cave on the left side go over here towards the left wall and then jump towards the right like where the color kind of changes and quit out now none of the bone wheels will chase you anymore into the tunnel Equip your halberd again. <clears throat> Two handed. Drop down here. Uh, okay, I want to show this properly. So, there's like a. Okay, I'll just show it. So, there's like the cutscene, and then you want to roll when you land. Uh, okay, wait till you start to see. If you want to do this very consistently, wait till you start to see the cutscene, and then you want to press start once and then B at the same time or whatever your roll button is and then keep mashing the roll button and I like to use my first finger and second finger so I kind of do a special grip so I can just like a V shape with my fingers and then my middle finger keeps mashing the B button and I'm holding forward at the same time and then well when my character starts rolling forward I got plenty of time to switch my grip uh, pinwheel's easy even if you get a hard landing so don't worry about it but yeah, like look at my controller as I do this. So, you see the buttons? You see I push the one button and I kept mashing B. And I get that, I get that roll consistently if I do it like that. Tank that fireball if you have to, who cares? Kill pinwheel. Heal up right here. Press the start button to bring this up. Once the door opens up, close the start menu press start again and then press a or whatever the get on the ladder button is and you'll get on it immediately okay pathing through the tomb of the giants i'm, I'm gonna actually kind of go slow through here for anyone who's maybe struggling with this okay so the very start you'll see like this prism stone immediately right ignore that one and then there's one that kind of behind it ignore that one if you're looking at like this and this in between the two you'll see one in the distance like way back there so between here and here is right in the middle aim towards that one go to the left of it and then turn to the right a little bit and kind of aim go just like follow this line towards that prism stone and then you'll see this one in the distance and then you'll see these skeleton eyes right here go towards the prism stone and around the skeleton to the right you run to this wall right here follow this wall you'll see this uh, lost isolith in the distance you go towards that and then i kind of curve with this wall and then i come over here till i get to like this this is like a giant skeleton thing right here i get to so i'm right here and then i'm gonna run at an angle towards the left side of the lava and then jump right at the edge so like i do that again so to this prism stone around the right, across the bridge, around the right of the skeleton, like this, right here, and then this is my line right there. And so you want to like jump at an angle like that, and you'll hit this little thing and slope onto that, and then onto this, and then I roll. I turn the camera left and roll to the left immediately, and drop down that little spot right here, and rest at this bonfire so I don't have to run through there again. And you can put one point in the strength. Uh, and then get up, and then you want to, like, Lost Isolith area is to my left. You want to put that, like, to your left, like that. And then you go over to this wall and get on this ladder. You go up here, uh, and then you want to go at, like, a 45 right here to your left. I accidentally rolled, so I went back to show you. Here's the ladder right here, and then you go at, like, a 45 this way. You run into this wall, and then you will see like a uh, this prism stone and patches, and you get to the side of patches and kill him with just two R twos. On make sure you're to the side of him, and then you get the humanities from him, and then you're like if you're still facing the same way that you killed him when you're from the side, you just keep going that direction basically, and you run into this wall, and then you just keep it on your right, follow it around here past that giant skelly dog make sure you're staying close to that wall go through this fog wall 
and then I use this as a reference. I kind of go on the left side of it. You don't want to go too far to the right because there's a skelly dog over here. So stay like right there. Run towards that. And then when you get here, you want to just kind of turn a little bit to the right. You'll see these skeleton eyes right here as you're dropping down two ledges. Don't roll when you land here. You don't want to roll, just let yourself land and start running again. And then go around the skeleton to the right and like kind of curve around him and run into this wall. And make sure you're kind of like your character's bouncing up against the wall. Don't just jump immediately when you hit it or you won't make it up. So you, you see I'm right here. I don't jump immediately. Then I jump. Let me show you that again. So here, turn a little bit to the right. Go around the skeleton. Go up this wall, bounce, bounce, and then I jump. It's, it's just like a slight delay, you know. And then here... Yeah. You jump up, and then you just run off, staying on the right side. And then you can roll one, two, and kind of aim at the path. Okay, we got all the twinkling tight night we need. We don't need any more. Get full stamina when you're right here. And then kind of like strafe around like that so the arrow doesn't hit you. And then if he's shooting another arrow, like stay on one side and then switch to the other so the arrow doesn't hit you in the back. Bait these pinwheels that shoot over here and when they start, when they shoot, you just go to the left. You like strafe that, like that. And then you go up this path over here and then pass this pinwheel. And make sure you jump or roll through those sticks. They don't break automatically. And then uh, look at your health. If you need to heal before you drop, go ahead and do it. Put on the stone armor. And then you want to just drop down here and let yourself land. Don't, and then just hold block for a second. Make sure if you hear Nido screaming, just keep holding block. But uh, I'm going to use the humanity to heal here because I have such low health. I want full health. And then uh, he's going to scream right here. So I kill this skeleton. There, he's screaming. So you want to hold block. And also uh, you want to face away from skeletons so they don't stagger you. If you get hit by a skeleton at the same time that Nito does this, it, you get hit by Nito too. So face away from them so they hit you in the back and, and it's just like you're poisoning through it. And then you want to bait Nito to get closer to you, so kill these skeletons as much as you need to until Nito kind of gets a little bit closer like that. Strafe this attack to the right. Same with the overhead slam attack, just strafe it to the right. This one, the slash, just get really close to him and jog into him as he does it. And all these will never hit you. And just keep draining your stamina and keep attacking him. And there we go. That AoE was going to do, you can just use your shield to block it and then heal up afterwards. And then as soon as his sword bounces off the ground, or if you can't see the sword, his other arm bounces off the ground, you can bone out. And then you can level up strength. We got, you want to get at least 32. If you can get 35 before Gwen, that's perfect. 35 makes it so you can do the whole fight one-handed, one-handing the Black Knight Halberd. And it's fast. And then you warp the Fire Link, and we're going to go back through Blight Town and make our way to the Bed of Chaos. Jump on the elevator. Use all your twin humanities. You want to unequip the Black Knight Halberd here. And... If you haven't done it already, you can also equip the Hornet Ring. You don't need the ring to fight the Four Kings anymore. Run past these idiots, same as before. Strafe that guy to the right, to, around him to the left, and strafe him, and roll the other guy if you need to. Roll that guy if you need to. Come over here. You remember how to do this. 
don't go over this, go to the right of it. And instead of running, you can actually roll here and then do a delayed, not a, well, I guess that's not the right term, but delay your roll slightly and then roll as you hit the ground here. You don't take any damage if you do it like that. You take a little damage from that drop, but that's not nearly as much. Use as many humanity as you need to get 30. Save the rest. You should have some extra humanity. If you died and lost some humanity, you have the extra Firekeeper Soul. If you have enough humanity, you can use the Firekeeper Soul to upgrade your Estus even more. heal up because dropping down here takes about half your health turn to the right and roll through this wall it's an illusion surprise talk to this guy twice well not twice you hit the button to talk twice don't mash it but you just you hit it once to talk to him and then once to skip the line. He only has one line of dialogue. So talk and then skip this one line. And then the prompt will come up yes, no, and you say yes. And then skip through that and then quit out. And come over here and you can upgrade this, this the plus three if, if you can and then enter their covenant. Say yes. Do a little prayer. Offer humanity. Say yes. Offer all 30. Rest at this bonfire. We're going to do ceaseless skip. If you don't want to do ceaseless skip, well, you just lost two minutes. But I, I, I would understand if you don't want to do it. But it's it's worth learning. So we have lots of health and we have plus three Estus. So it, it's actually not that hard. So I would consider, I would say give it a try like this. You might be surprised. It's a little tricky at first, but it, it's very forgiving with this much health. So stop, stop right here. You go around this egg dude. So when you're, you're, you're coming down here, you want to roll right as you hit the ground here. And then you come down here and you go to run this egg guy to the left of him. And then you'll see like this, this kind of like rock, square shaped rock right here and put your foot right in the middle of it, your right foot. And then you want to shoot to make this Capra demon fall down so he's not like attacking you while you do a ceaseless skip. So you want to shoot just generally like you'll see this white spot right here just somewhere over here where I shoot. It's actually not very precise just as long as it's not above where I shot and too high. And then you want to look like you're trying to line up right here where I'm like aiming with the cross with the crosshairs. And then you just want to slowly walk forward to the edge and look down and make sure you're lined up like right here. And then you're looking also, you kind of see how it like comes to it. There's a little point right here. Well, not really a point, but you see how there's like an, a line right here and then a slight angle change of another line right here. And it's like the point of that right there. You want to go to the left of that point when you go down. And uh, you drop down 
and you roll right there. So, uh, like you see how it like this is a slope, and then it like hits this second angle, and then this third angle. You want it roll just as at the end of the first one before you hit the second one. Like look at look at my controller. Right here in the bottom. See where I roll. 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 Two rolls, three rolls. And then you when you land you wanna kinda when you land in the lava you wanna angle a little bit to the right, like maybe forty five degrees. Not even forty five, like thirty five degrees to the right. You don't wanna wind up over here. That's actually not a safe spot. You wanna end up just a little kind of in the middle of this spot right here. If that makes sense. And then heal up to full or mostly full. Roll over. Okay, you can't really s see it. Like, uh, let's see if I angle it so you can see. Okay. You see, like, how it kind of peaks out right here on a point? You want to roll across that point right here, so before you get to it. And then here, uh, don't go all the way to the edge of the lava. Roll, like, you, well, just look where I roll. I roll really early, and you want to roll twice. Roll, roll right here and then be careful you don't roll off to the side here you just want to get up on top of this like this and then you can just run or jog across and then go across this point and drop down and you can just if you go right on this line you can just run across run across and then uh, heal up right here if you need to and then line this up just like I am right here with my head like going straight at I'm looking at this as it goes down and then it hits right here. Not out here at the very edge of it, but you can kind of see like just a little bit in, like right there. And you want to roll twice forward and once 90 degrees to the right. You roll forward twice and it'll get you right about here and then you roll right and it'll get you up on the rock. Roll, roll, roll right. And then heal up, get up on the top of this rock and then look at this point of this and line it up with that. And you want to jump on this point kind of like on the left side of this rock over here like this then you go over here and then you must stop right here make sure you move to the front of this rock because there's like some spots where it's like uh, you take damage on until you get to the front of it basically so you jump here and then I, I don't stop here even though I'm like safe right here I don't stop here I move forward because I know it's safe here just move right there and then stop and heal if you need to and then you want to line this up like this you can line it up while you heal uh, so you'll see like there's a, a a change in the texture of the lava right here it's like flat all in here basically and then it kind of like angles down and you can kind of see the line of it right kind of going like that where it's like angling down, you're safe. But once it hits that that line where it changes shape, that's where you need to roll before you just as you t before you touch that line. And you want to roll twice, like forward here, and then when you get to about here, you want to angle towards this rock and roll. It should be three rolls all together, and just to be have full health. So you. See, I'm moving forward before I don't roll where I, just where I was. I'm start walking forward, then I roll right about there, and then roll here, and then I turn the camera slightly so I'm kind of following this line. I roll again, and then I'm going towards this rock. We're gonna roll again, and I get right here. And you want to stop right on any somewhere in the front of this rock right here, and then just kind of carefully line this up. So you're like, it kind of stops you in this little spot right here when you walk forward. You can't go, you can't go just walk up this rock, so you have to roll up it. So you want to line it up so it's like this. So you go over this rock. Don't go too far to the right or you actually fall off. You want to like line it up like this. And then you just roll and then land in the lava and roll. And then you made it. And you can see I did that with only using three Estus. And I could have done it with less. 
and some of those spots I didn't even take damage, but if I took damage every single time I rolled, I still would have been fine. So, with this much health, it's very forgiving. It's worth learning, too. It saves the... Uh, it saves about two minutes. And they just want to run past all those idiots. Sometimes this Taurus Demon doesn't uh, attack. Uh, if you want, you can, after you get all the way across, uh, you can heal, like, somewhere about here, I guess. Heal a full. So that Taurus Demon doesn't kill you. I don't know how much damage he does. You probably survive with his health, but I, I don't know. But yeah, just run around him to the right. Sometimes he does, like, a... Uh, a horizontal attack and uh, you gotta roll those and, but it's Taurus Demon it's like one of the first bosses in the game so it's not too hard to just run past and then just run down here go down this thing and then go to the, the shortcut that we can activate now And uh, activate it and quit out. And you save time doing that. Get your fist ready and get get a good amount of stamina right here, and then uh, you, you see like these little roots coming out right here. Just go to the left of them, and then you want to do a running attack on his tail, right here, bang, and he'll always turn to the left if you do it on the left side here. And then you want to run around to the right, and then tuck yourself if if he's just like turning like that. Just tuck yourself into this. Sometimes he does like a jump, and uh, he can do like a quick attack. But nine times out of ten, he'll just do this, and then you just tuck yourself into the, like the the sh the curve of his tail like this, and then uh, even if he doesn't attack, the tail won't hit you right there. But if you try to go outside of it, it might it might hit you. You'd survive either way. And then listen, like it, here you you can you could turn the camera around, but you can just listen. He's throwing lightning. He throws it, so I just start strafing a little bit. You don't even need to strafe that much, just a little bit. And you come over here, and then turn over here, and then you can use this root that comes out of the ground right there, off that path. So like normally people kind of go up here next to all these guys breathing fire, but you can just kind of use this uh, little thing. The boost you up on that and then you can get a lot of stamina back up here and then stay on the right side and go up here and get your stamina up and then start sprinting up stay on the right side you want to pull the switch a little bit to the right as you do that and then just run around to the left of her and then just run past her like that and she'll never hit you and then once she does her attack and it misses you can go straight to the fog and then you want to equip the fire bombs. Uh, and anything, uh, if you haven't equipped the hornet ring yet, you can do that. <clears throat> All right, roll here. Run in a straight line towards this. Right up the middle. Right on these tiles that we're staying on, right up the middle. And then when you get to these last three tiles, these, this line right here. So this is one, two, three. Stop right here, and then you can heal. Even if you don't need the heal, or if you're out of Estus, you can he you can use it right there, and it will stop you right on that spot. You want to like overshoot your run, and then uh, you're looking at these arms. You're waiting for them to finish their attacks. He does like uh, one more attack here, so. 
<clears throat> he does like three sw sweeps of his arms, so. There's like one, two, three, right there, and then you can backstep. And then that puts you in the perfect spot. If, for whatever reason, you're not sure where the perfect spot is. It's like, uh, you see where this this little thing sticks out. This points at the line of tiles. You want to stand with one foot on this one right here and the other one right here, just past this. So I think that's six back. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And that's like the perfect spot for very consistently aiming these, these bombs up. And then the spots you want to aim, let me go back and look at it. I don't know if I look up in time. Okay, so the spots you want to aim is one is like at the right here, and then the other one, I don't know if we can really see it, is right here. So right there and right there. So if you kind of get a general idea, like they're both about the same height, and one, if you look at the, these are these thicker branches basically, they're just a little bit past those on each side. And uh, you can do whatever side uh, is is more comfortable. I used to be more comfortable doing the left side because it's a little more harder to see, and then the right side is a little it stands out a little bit more. But you can see this one is right here. So you see the top skinny branch, and then you see it has like a little elbow or a little change in shape where it kind of angles down. Right, well, it's still pretty much flat, and you'll see a black dot right near the where it angles, if that makes sense. So you're right there. And then you wanna throw a bomb right there, and then you wanna you wanna zoom out after you throw the bomb, and then use your head to turn, because you can turn faster that way. So you can throw that bomb and then kinda like turn your head like this way and kinda, and this is the spot right here. So I'm too far down and to the left. I need to move my camera right there. So I go up a little bit. If you're holding the, moving the the stick during the start of a cutscene, it keeps dragging it. So try not to like, if you try to get it close, but wait for the cutscene and then you have more time to fix it. And then aim it right at that black spot right there. It's not exactly 100% precise. Like if I was aiming right here or here, here or here, probably like with anywhere within the circle is close enough, but you know it's gonna work every time if you aim right there. And then throw that, and then run up the middle. And then just start rolling through these branches. And you have enough health you can survive a firestorm, so just tank it or whatever. Punch the, equip your halberd, and wait for you see the white mist, and then you can bone out. You can bone out a little sooner, but I would say just wait for the white miss is a very clear visual cue, and then just put it all in strength if you can get 35. That's great. I got 36, but I, all I needed was 35. <clears throat> and then warp back to Firelink. Go back to the Firelink altar. Do a plunge attack. Offer the Lord souls. Offer souls to the Lord vessel. Skip the cutscene. There's a cutscene every time you jump in the hole to Firelink Altar too, so skip that cutscene too. Skip every cutscene, obviously. They're slow. And then run over here. You're gonna go around to the right of this, and then to the left of this big one. And then this is kind of a peach pathing, but you can go to the far right over here and they're just like, this black knight will never be able to catch up to you. It doesn't lose that much time. And then drop down here. And then go kind of wide around here and then just roll whatever this guy does. You see the attack he does, he's gonna do, just roll. Doesn't even matter. He has a couple attacks that come out really fast and you're better off to just roll everything and never get hit.
and then go across this bridge <clears throat> get your stamina low when you get about here and then when you go around here you see this guy is coming towards you start regenning stamina and then when he's about halfway to you start sprinting again and go to the left of him go to the left of him because even if he does the fast attack it will just go over your head you'll like see like it's you're past it and it goes over your head as long as you're sprinting and then curve kind of like go around them and then go a little bit to the right so you don't fall off this little hole here and you'll never get hit by that guy if you do it like that and then come down here and just kind of hug this left side and then get get a bunch of stamina so you can just run past this guy on the left side and he'll never hit you I get more stamina and then run around this guy to the right side and he'll never hit you easy and then come in here and then just spam roll as you get through the fog wall so you don't get hit and get your halberd ready and then you want to parry and just repost and then you want to circle behind him and do an r1 and then hold your shield up as he's spinning around and just hold that shield up in case he does a fast attack this is a slow attack parry repost get behind him and do an r1 and then hold shield he does a grab you can just roll it to the right like this i need, i just even roll you can, you don't have to but you can just roll and then hold the shield up like here he like you don't want to hold it up too soon so like he does the grab i'm not holding i let go of shield like and then i'm waiting for him to start rotating and once he starts rotating then i hold the shield up so there let go of shield wait hold shield up fast attack i'm already blocking idiot parry and then the third repost kills him and then just jump through here and then skip this cutscene and that's that's where the run ends as soon as you hit the credits here and if you're using live split there's a, a built-in like setting to like read in game time if you go into like compare against at the bottom of the settings there's compare against in in game time uh like the live split has been like uh upgraded for dark souls a lot in the last couple years so now there's even like auto splitters built in so it's really nice um yeah it's pretty much the run um a lot of peach strats in there but you can still like look at those 55 32 and like you could easily shave off time by just like well, not not taking every single bonfire a lot of them were very much uh didn't didn't need any of them really but you know i just wanted to show you that it's pretty easy so make sure you show the in-game time too at the end uh you didn't not it's not like hard required but it's it's nice to for verification to see that yeah that that matches up with that there was no like shenanigans going on uh, if those match up um okay and uh, there's really not much else to add like uh, i'm gonna sh throw some uh some links in the description for like gadget lemage if you want to use that for practice uh i think most people already know how to find live split just google it um and also, sh I'll put in the link to. Oh, sorry, I'll also put in the link to uh, a faster run that's like no RTSR, uh, any percent glitch list that's like zero peach strats basically. Um, it's it's a uh, my recent PB, and uh, that's uh, 47 minutes 45 seconds. So. Um, but that's like a fake halberd, so I can't submit that run, unfortunately. But if you want to see like faster strats, uh, more skips, and I don't level up as much health or upgrade the Estus, things like that. You just want to like see a faster run, then I'll I'll uh, show you that. But yeah, yeah, you guys can go get sub hour and uh, submit those runs. I'd love to see more sub hour runs on the leaderboard. I know a lot of people are capable of it, but they just don't have have a a good route and uh i think a lot of it's uh that peach strats that are just not helping them 
and like I feel like uh you just gotta you just gotta go for you know playing aggressive and uh you'll really impress yourself with how fast you can go all right. <laughs> 